Hello everyone. Uh, let's start after yesterday's discussion on the group algebra. Today we will come back uh, to the characters. Uh, so let uh, G be a finite group. Uh, assume that uh, rho i is from G B to G L W I. Where I runs from one to K are all complex irreducible representations uh, of uh, the group G. And let's denote the dimension of uh, the spaces WIs by NIs and the characters by KIIs. Then uh, we uh, have seen in one of the earlier classes that uh, the sum n1 square plus nk square has to be uh, the same as the order of the group and uh, if uh, g is uh, abelian which is abelian then uh, each ni is uh, just uh, one <laughs> in fact uh, we will now show that this uh, condition is not uh, just uh, uh, one directional it is in fact an if and only statement that's what we will show now so assume now that uh, each ni each ni has dimension each ni is one that is all irreducible representations uh, have a dimension one then we uh, we will show that g is abelian <laughs> this is very easy because since each ni has dimension one in view of uh, this uh, formula we can uh, first what we get is k has to be whole of uh, k has to be same as the order of g and on the, the other hand, we know that K is the number of conjugacy classes. Uh, so it, uh, from there, uh, we get that for every X in G, the conjugacy class of X is specifically singleton X. Uh, So conjugacy class of x is singleton x. So what that means is uh, for every x, uh, if you take any other group element y, then y x uh, y inverse is just x. So therefore x and y commute. So every x and every y they commute, and that forces g is abelian. Okay. So that's how we prove that the statement is. Uh, indeed, an uh, if and only if statement. Okay, so the, there are also other ways to see this without getting into the characters. Uh, for example, the the following could be one way that uh, from we uh, consider the left regular representation of the group uh, G. Okay, <laughs> so. <coughs> First of all, uh, it's easy to see that R is injective because if for some G, RG is identity, then if you take any X, RG of EX, which is uh, GX, it has to be same as EX. Therefore, uh, uh, GX has to be same as X, but you see, and uh, this holds for uh, every x so that forces that uh, g has to be identity because uh, if x is non-identity then gx can be equal to x only when g is identity so this map is indeed uh, an injective homomorphism and uh, since uh, uh, g is a finite group so therefore this is isomorphic to uh, GL uh, GL of C with uh, so this is isomorphic to set of all invertible complex matrices uh, squares in uh, set of all invertible complex matrices of order equal to order of uh, G. So 
The next thing is very obvious from here that this map is one one. And uh, so therefore, uh, G is uh, isomorphic to uh, rho G's. Okay. Now we know that uh, since uh, all, uh, since all uh, irreducible representations of G are one dimensional, so that means uh, LG uh, the decomposition of LG into a reducible uh, uh, G invariance of spaces should look like the following. Uh, in fact, this is exactly equal. Sorry. So, uh, yeah. so this has to be said as uh, CV1 plus 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 uh, direct sum c uh, v uh, so this is our dimension order of g so see the order of g so from here it follows that uh, this v1 up to all v order of g this works as a common eigenbasis for every common eigenbasis to all rho g, sorry, uh, here it is the rg, common eigenbasis to every rg. So what that means that in other words, in other words, there is a invertible matrix P such that uh, uh, P, uh, yeah, so maybe maybe I should put it in this way. Uh, so that. So what it means that there is a common eigenbasis. Uh, uh, so this is a common eigenbasis to all uh, uh, the operator rho g's. So that means uh, if we uh, choose this basis and take the matrix representation here, then all the matrices that uh, this row G's will correspond are just diagonal matrices. So uh, therefore G, so uh, this becomes isomorphic to uh, some subgroup of, some subgroup of, of diagonal matrices matrices okay now so you see diagonal the group of all diagonal matrices that is abelian so g being isomorphic to that g has to be abelian so this is another way without getting into the characters let me just repeat that first we observe that the left regular representation is actually faithful that is the map homomorphism r is injective so therefore g is identified with this group uh, now uh, from the fact that g has all uh, irreducible representations of dimension one so therefore from here we get a common eigenbasis to all uh, those g's so if we fix the basis and consider uh, the matrices matrices uh, with respect to this basis. So that's how we get uh, uh, the, this uh, subgroup of LG, this subgroup of LG is isomorphic to some subgroup of uh, diag or diagonal matrices over C. And since the letter uh, is uh, abelian, so being isomorphic to that, it has to be abelian. All right. So let's uh, come back to where we have started with. So, so we have uh, just a minute. So what we have seen is uh, if you, uh, the all irreducible representations are of dimension one is equivalent to uh, saying G is abelian. Okay. So from here we can. Uh, 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 surprisingly, we can uh, have an upper bound of a group, uh, upper bound of, an, of irreducible representations of a group that possesses an abelian subgroup. So,
so what we are going to do is uh, assume that uh, a is a a is a subgroup of a group and a is a billion a abelian then what we will show now is the following that uh, every reducible representation every irreducible representation d uh, let me write in this way so uh, every reducible representation rho of uh, g has dimension dimension less or equal to uh, the index of uh, g in a that's which is nothing but uh, uh, g of a but we will put that so let rho be uh, so uh, let uh, rho, uh, the vector space of this representation rho is v so therefore uh, g to glv we have the homomorphism uh, rho so first what we will do is we will restrict this rho uh, which is, uh, to a and let's denote that by uh, let's denote that by rho a Let's denote that by rho a. So rho a is now a representation of a on uh, v. So v is assumed to be an irreducible representation of g, but when we consider uh, it as a representation of a, that may not be uh, irreducible any longer. So what we do is uh, we take a subspace. Uh, uh, so uh, let uh, w be a subspace of v which is uh, is uh, uh, which is irreducible under the irreducible of uh, under the uh, linear action by a so what i mean is which is uh, a invariant of course and irreducible okay so now i forget uh, now for the time being i am forgetting the i have a representation of the group g i am just only focused on the representation of a uh, coming from or coming out of that and so this representation may not be reducible but however we can find a irreducible subspace of that okay so since a is abelian so dimension of w has to be one okay now we will see the following that uh, we will consider all the translates of this uh, w uh, by group elements so observe that uh, so for every g in g so w is after all the subspace of v so therefore we can it makes sense to talk about uh, rho gw so rho g is an invertible linear map from v to v so therefore uh, uh, the image of uh, subspace uh, w under the rho g that will be a subspace of the same dimension with that of uh, w and in this case this is one okay so it makes sense to talk about this fellows and in fact uh, what you can observe is uh, uh, suppose g is in g and a in a so they are then rho g a of w which is of course uh, rho g uh, and rho a on w so since uh, a w is a invariant so this has to be w itself okay so therefore you see that uh, 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 let's see it in this way that uh, uh, so uh, we consider the coset of uh, the subgroup A. So we see that any x in this uh, uh, coset, for any x in this coset, rho x w will be the same. Okay. 
So whichever x you pick up from the forcep, uh, uh, the, this guy doesn't change. So it make uh, so therefore it makes sense to introduce the following notation that rho. Uh, uh, for if, if we denote this coset by sigma, so rho sigma of w, it makes perfect sense to talk about such things. Then sigma is in g mod h. Okay, c mod a. Sorry, g mod a. So it makes sense to talk about uh, for, so from uh, corresponding to each coset of A, uh, uh, corresponding to each coset sigma of A, we have uh, uh, rho sigma of uh, rho sigma of W. So and, and uh, so again, let me remind you that rho sigma of W means uh, if you take any representative from sigma and then consider the image of W under. Uh, row under the corresponding linear uh, transformation. Okay, fine. So uh, now for corresponding to, so now uh, corresponding to each of these process and we have uh, number of such sigma is uh, same as the number of uh, this set, which is nothing but uh, the index of A in G. So thus corresponding to each sigma, I have a row sigma. Okay, so thus I have uh, these many translates of W and then we consider their sum. Remember the sum may not be direct, but uh, what you know is uh, we have finitely many subspaces. So the sum is uh, defined in the usual way. So this will be a subspace of B. Okay. Now it is easy to see that the way we have defined this fellow is G invariant. It's very easy to see that this fellow is G invariant because whichever uh, G you pick up and whichever sigma you pick up, uh, so uh, if, if X is a representative from sigma, so a typical element of this uh, will be rho G X, uh, uh, and some w, which is nothing but rho g x, rho g rho x, rho g x of w, and rho g x is nothing but this stand. Uh, so this belongs to. Uh, uh, so this g x. So this g x belongs to the uh, coset. Uh, well, I think I should not mess up the notation. Yeah. So it belongs to the coset uh, uh, G sigma. So does uh, this fellow that we have seen here belongs to rho G sigma of W. Rho G, uh, uh, so it belongs, to, well, so not rho G sigma, you have to get the proper representative, so. Uh, so rho g sigma, so, so g sigma is already contained here, sorry, so g sigma is of course contained in uh, g, uh, sorry, uh, the uh, set of all left cosets. And if, uh, while to, so therefore, uh, what we have just seen this uh, rho g x of w is basically rho g sigma Rho G sigma of W. Okay. Maybe I should. Rho G sigma of W. So this fellow, Rho uh, sigma of W is actually a uh, gene variant subspace uh, of V, but since V is assumed to be reducible, so in fact, this has to be exact equality. This has to be exact equality. Has to be exact equality. Okay. Good. Now from that, 
right. Uh, now from that, uh, we can immediately see uh, something about the dimension of uh, V. So basically you see V is nothing but the sum of uh, uh, one dimension of, so, so G V is the uh, sum of uh, uh, these many one dimensional subspaces since uh, uh, the sum may not be direct so therefore dimension of v has to be this would equal to that which proves that this is a so if a group has a uh, uh, abelian possesses an abelian subgroup so then uh, its number of uh, so its uh, uh, irreducible representations the dimension has a upper bound so yeah, when more uh, abelian subgroups of uh, big order it possesses, then the uh, then uh, the irreducible representations uh, the, that G has, the degrees will be uh, more small. Okay, thank you for your attention. So with that, we will uh, uh, stop the discussion on the characters of abelian groups. Uh, next, we will talk about. Uh, the tensor product of two representations okay thank you as i said thank you for your attention